Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Holly with the Nestle Valley Farmhouse and today I'm going to bring you along and kind of show you our summer routine, kind of how I have been, you know, enjoying the summer with the kids at home. We do a little bit of school just honestly just to keep them entertained and to keep a routine going and just kind of, yeah, go through the day with me, kind of show you what I do. Um, so today is Wednesday. So my typical chores are kind of tidying up the downstairs I vacuum and dust all that stuff and um, and Wednesday it can be a little bit of like a midweek catch-up day too like if there's stuff that I don't get done you know in the first couple days of the week if we're just busy and have things going I kind of use Wednesday as kind of another catch-up day if that makes sense so getting the kitchen all cleaned up like usual and I'm going to be making pancakes this morning because that is our typical um, Wednesday morning de or dessert my goodness <laughs> breakfast so I've said it before I'll say it again I really enjoy having like static breakfasts and static lunches um, I kind of changed them up a little bit but for the most part my kids enjoy the same meals and so it makes it a whole lot easier for me it makes my um, a it helps keep me a little bit more in budget because in a general rule like a lot of the ingredients for this stuff is fairly inexpensive because I do cook mostly from scratch these types of things but I do have a few convenience foods too. Like you'll see, I do buy box macaroni and cheese for the kids for the macaroni and cheese because, well, that's just the easiest way to do it. So we had some Nutella with these pancakes this time. My daughter froze some and she tried to, we tried to do a little experiment and it was interesting. I don't know that I'll do it again, but it was a nice experiment and she felt special being able to kind of help be a part of breakfast. So now that breakfast is done, I am just tidying up the kitchen normally goes with getting the um, dishes done, getting the, um, yeah, basically unloading my dishwasher because I try to run it the night before. Generally after dinner, I am getting it, um, kind of running it. And then after, and then normally I just unload it and of course probably reloading it by breakfast time. So <clears throat> today is going to look like kind of a typical day. And I also want to be like, one of the biggest things for the summer that I'm trying to do because I'm trying not to be stressed, I'm trying not to feel overwhelmed is I'm kind of adjusting my expectations a little bit with like the cleanliness of the house, if that makes any sense. I feel like it happens that, um, you know, the house is just going to be messier because the kids are home more often. And of course, if you're a homeschool mom, you probably already have that problem. So I'm trying to build in my day and I don't know, I really showed it very well in this video, but build in like some extra kind of tidy up spaces. Um, I try to do a little tidy up kind of around, around when I start cooking dinner. Um, and then depending on when my husband comes home, cause sometimes, you know, his, his, when he gets home, it varies because traffic and, um, sometimes he has to work late. I try to do a little bit of a um, quick tidy, like if I know he's going to be home by a certain time, just to kind of, because when he comes home, I don't want the house to necessarily always look like ridiculous, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, so I'm now loading the dishwasher and um, basically kind of my morning block kind of after breakfast consists of me cleaning up for the most part. And then today, like I said, it's Wednesday, so we kind of do downstairs. So I'm going to be dusting um, the living room and then dusting the, or, and then vacuuming. Um, I didn't dust everything. I probably should have, and I need to be better about like dusting all the stuff, but sometimes I do a little bit more deep cleaning, but I'll be honest, it is summertime. So it is harder for me to do deep cleaning because we are so busy. We have so much going on that I just sometimes just quickly wipe down the problem spots, so to speak. And then of course I'm running the vacuum real quick to get the carpet all vacuumed up because you know, it, it gets very messy very quickly. So this is the Bible study I got. It's from not consumed. And basically I got, um, so we start our school, our quote unquote summer school day with our Bible study. Um, it was a little bit more expensive than I was planning on spending, but I really liked the format. It's a five week Bible study. So it's about 30 days of instruction. And what works out really well is we're also, um, instead of doing handwriting books, we, I decided to just sign the kids up. And so they're doing basically the Bible study is going to be their quote unquote handwriting. And then they're going to have 30 or 20 minutes of reading every day for our, they're doing the summer reading program with our local library. And then they're also doing roughly 20 minutes of um, Khan Academy math. And I find that that's been a really good, it's no more than an hour, probably a little less for my bigger kids that can go through it quicker, but well, actually less for the younger ones too. But it seems to work out. It's giving us a little bit of structure. 
so the four older kids all got their own the nice thing that i like about this is there's like a parent one and then there's different age groups and you're all working on the same lesson together so i really liked that how i was able to sit down with my youngest and read her lesson and then of course it's not as elaborate and as they get older they get a little bit more complicated and so i read with kiva and then i read corbin's to him and his is just a little bit more. Um, and then of course the girls have the older version and so they can kind of do it independently and I'm there to answer questions or help out if needed. So I think it worked out really well. And I like that the summer reading program is also 30 days. So basically I'm fitting in, you know, there's gonna be weeks like the kids um, had VBS, so we didn't do it. And then the kids um, like with 4th of July, we're not gonna do it cause it's a holiday. And then this is them working on their math and just kind of doing it on the computer and then doing a little bit of silent reading. And I also read um, stories to my younger two or younger three as well. So now they're just playing while I'm catching up on a few chores. But the I really like um, how basically I'm doing 30 days of instruction. So you can see like obviously we're gonna have a lot more days like that in summer. So I'm trying to keep it really relaxed and really focused on just making it fun, making it, you know, but also kind of also wanting to do some discipleship with my kids since they do go to public school. I wanted to do something over the summer that kind of also reinforces our beliefs and values so that the good news is the school district that we're in is actually very, um, has similar, a lot of the teachers have a lot of similar values. So I feel like they've been very, like it's been a very good school for us, but I obviously want to continue to foster that, you know, as they go through the summer. So the kids are playing outside and I'm just watering my garden. I kind of do this whenever I find time and it seems to be like kind of after we do a little school time, kind of in between and, um, I got the, um, like I said, the indoor chores kind of done. So I'm out here watering and, um, some days that's all I can do. Other days I try to go out there and pull the weeds. Like there, the, there's not too many weeds in like the raised beds, but there's a few kind of, you can see them on the ground in like the mulch. So eventually I want to get out there and start working on those weeds. But once again, <laughs> I'm trying to also just like expectations, keep them kind of on the low side because I also want to enjoy my summer and I don't want to spend it being stressed out and overwhelmed. So I'm trying really hard to just pace myself and not try to be super, you know, do it all on a day and then burn myself out if that makes sense. So I really think having a little bit of school time has helped build some structure in. I'm also trying to theme, kind of theme the days, I guess. Um, at least twice a week, I am trying to get the kids out of the house a little bit. So right now I'm working on lunch. Today is macaroni and cheese day. And like I said, I just buy the Kraft dinner because, well, it's the off brand. And then we actually had a few leftover hot dogs. So I just cut them up and put them in because there wasn't enough hot dogs for everyone. Normally my kids, except for the youngest have two each. And so there wasn't enough for them to have that. So I feel like throwing it in here adds a little protein. And then this way they're just getting a, you know, a lunch that they will eat and enjoy. So that's what we're doing. But, um, back to kind of theming the days i want to spend some time baking so we're kind of trying to do like thursdays or days that we bake and then i'm thinking like tuesdays and wednesdays are going to be like we try to get out of the house somehow go to the park today we did go to the park and shame on me we should there's actually a lake by this park and <laughs> it was hotter than i expected it to be so next time we'll bring some suits and let the kids swim it's a really nice lake it has a very very um gentle slope into the water so it's i mean my youngers that can't swim confidently yet will always wear life jackets but my olders it's like a really easy lake for like kids to learn to swim in so um but we didn't do that because mommy's silly and i for <laughs> i didn't realize how hot it was gonna get so as usual i'm getting my diapers hung up because i feel like every time i filmed i've pretty much had diapers <laughs> that needed to be done i do those about every other day so <laughs> So today we went to the park and the kids were bummed, but we ended up going over to um, my mother-in-law. She was home and so she actually came with us. And yes, our cat ended up having some kittens before we were able to get her fixed. So that's something that we're working on and we had the kids to play with, so they were a lot of fun. So the kids had just played at the park. I think we stayed there for about an hour. I kind of feel like they were kind of worn out by this time, if I'm being honest. And here is reality. This is after we got back from the park and you can see just how messy our little homeschool area got and so i'm just did a quick tidy up and swept the floor and cleaned it up and then um i pretty much like 
started, I think it was about 3 30, 4 o'clock. So I went out and got the um, diapers down. And then I ended up making pierogies for dinner because that's one of my husband's favorite meals and the kids like it too. And then, um, yep, so we had dinner and then um, that's pretty much kind of how our routine goes in the summer. So I hope that was helpful. I gave you some ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.